client is safe now. I think I flushed all of the assassins. Master Satil Shan of the Jedi Order, transmitting on emergency frequency Echo Black. Rogue Mandalorians have attacked a Republic shipyard and several Outer Rim worlds. We must respond to these unprovoked assaults. If you're receiving this message, you are cleared for high-risk intervention. Volunteers should contact me at Carrick Station. Master Satil, out. I'll do it blindfolded, just for fun. <laughs> I'm not here to blast you. If you don't want your droids shot, you got a bedtime story or something to calm them down? Risha's business partner, here at last. Impressive. I'm on that she felt the need to make a show of strength. She must think very highly of me. <laughs> if you smell anything else, let me know. I'm sorry to say this, but you've come at a bad time to do business. Things are... tense. What's wrong? You got problems with the local lawmen? It's much worse than that. Hey, pretty face! You don't belong here. I'm not looking for any trouble. Then you definitely don't belong here. Excuse me, but I suddenly feel an urge to put away all the breakable things. I'm only a weary traveler. There's plenty of room here for both of us, my friend. You're not my friend, got it? Leave the girl alone if you know what's good for you. Mind your own business, human trash! You want to leave me alone. You want to stop noticing me. You're really starting to annoy me. Men? Let's show pretty face what we do with people who annoy me. If you want to pick a fight, why not pick me? You got a big mouth. I'm gonna enjoy shutting it. Men, kill them both!
I wish this hadn't ended in violence, but it was brave of you to intervene. What can I say? I'm a sucker for a beautiful woman. You acted based on your perception of my physical appearance? That makes no sense. My name is Nariel Prydance. It's a pleasure to meet you. I'm looking for Vavaron Zare, an agent of evil and servant of the Sith Empire. Have you heard of her? Whoever Zare is, I bet she's not nearly as gorgeous as you. Zare is a being of vast darkness and a grave threat to the galaxy. I hear she's taken an interest in the local underworld, so I came to observe these criminals and gain information. Stick with me, sweetheart. I'll find the Zare before sundown. That's kind, but I can't place you in harm's way. I sense you're destined for greater things than consorting with common criminals. I must continue my search for Vavaron Zare. May the Force be with you. I thought she'd never leave. Look at this mess. Our gang has enough problems without Jedi chasing Sith through our territory. The infamous Diago Hickson has trouble? Our organization is under attack by a gang of Geonosians. Last week they took over our spice warehouse. Killed everyone, including a fellow lieutenant who had the only way of contacting Diago. What's a Geonosian? Overgrown insects with heavy weapons and bad attitudes. They're sitting on what we need. Iago hates it when we bother him. He got so angry, he killed a crate dragon. Gave us lieutenants one fang to share. Only the lieutenant with the crate dragon fang can speak to Diago. And you helped kill the men I was sending to get it. You got a brilliant plan, right? The way I see it, this is at least partly your fault. If you want your sensor computer, get me that crate dragon fang. It's been a while since I broke a sweat. Might be fun. My deceased associate kept the fang at the Spice Warehouse. Place is crawling with Geonosians. Won't be easy. Discouraging those Geonosians from sticking around will give us leverage with the boss. Just a suggestion. I'm heading for Diago's summer palace at these coordinates. Meet me there with the great dragon fang. got an interesting idea of fun. So what do you say? Do we have a deal? Marvelous. I had absolutely no idea what you just said, my indelicate friend. But marvelous. Sir, intruders! Well, you don't look like you're part of Shrug's little Gamorrean clan. Everyone lower your weapons. I'm not here to fight. So let me guess, you're here because of Canis, hmm? That little rat does know how to squeak. Of course, I can't have you interrupting my deal. I'd murder you myself, but that's just not possible right now. Who are you? What are you? Well, that's a bit personal. Maybe another time. The rest of you can deal with this interruption. I'll be in touch later. <laughs>
You got it. Well, I'm pleased Diago finally responded to my provocation. I was expecting a bit more. <coughs> Is that absurd little trophy the reason Diago sent you? This crate dragon tooth is the key to Diago's heart. Didn't you know? You're funny. I suppose I can work with that. My name is Vavarone Zare. I'm interested in discussing a bargain with Diago Hickson. I met a Jedi who said you're pure evil. Oh, you mean little Nariel? Oh, poor girl. Think she's my nemesis. Very sad. I've been prodding Diago for weeks. Raid a business here, kill a lieutenant there. It's like he hasn't noticed. I thought sending the Geonosians to raid this operation would surely draw him out. But all I've got is you. Get to the point. I'm seeking a small crimson box. One curio of many in Diago's personal collection. I'll give him whatever he wants for the box. But I need to arrange a meeting. Can you do that? Are you looking to hire me? If you serve me, you serve yourself. For your assistance, you'll receive a gift few beings ever enjoy. The pleasure of my company. And don't deny that you desire me. I'm the closest you'll ever get to perfection. I offer the chance of a lifetime. All I ask is that you arrange a meeting for me with Diago. I'd really like to help you, truly, but I can't. As you wish. I hope you survive disappointing me. That was fun, but unnecessary. Now run along and reconsider my offer. Until we meet again. You come up with that saying by yourself? Hey, hey, hey.